kids, like kids, look at that. Let's right. stop for a family photo. Exactly. Where are we going, Dad? <laughs> well, the line's back. What's that? Uh, it's basically like a jeeping trail, but we don't have their jeep, so we're going to take my car on it. It's a truck. That's what it's for. Like, <laughs> you got to wreck it a little bit. <laughs> Should I put it in four wheel? Put it in four low. Four low? Yep. What we do, it is, it's scary. Throwing yourself off of a 70 foot jump and like, once you put it to your feet that first time, you get that feeling like legit the shakes of the adrenaline and you can't stop and it's like the best feeling in the world. And you're like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. And then you're like, Okay, well I have to go do it two more times to make it like legit, like someone film this to make sure it's on camera, but if you're not scary then you're a little insane. Guys, I just want to let you know, thanks for trusting me with your lives. Are you nervous right now? No, I, <laughs> my heart is beating pretty fast. Just knowing that I spent like my life savings on this car to fuck it up in two seconds. Keep your left one high left there. Yeah. I give my brothers like definitely all the credit for where I am today because they definitely never treated me like a little girl and I mean my mom's the same way. She was the youngest of four and even it growing up my brother played football and my mom was like cheerleading's not a real sport like and so I played like tackle football with the boys. I definitely think they wanted like a little brother themselves or wouldn't stand for like a preppy, pretty little ballerina little girl. Like, I don't know. I was quarterback. My brother was quarterback, so he taught me all the tricks. I had to wear a cup too. And then it'd be like, step on the scale, tap your cup, and you'd see the other team as you're going. They're like, a girl's on that team. Oh my God. And just how happened, I was like the quarterback too, and just throwing TDs all day. <laughs> Let's go down the water slide! It's really low. I don't know if you want to do it. No! <laughs> I missed it! He's worried. Nah. I'm not about to break an ankle before ski season. I've been known to do that before, so... After the Olympics, it's definitely like a pinch yourself kind of moment. Like, whoa, like that was cool. I went to Oscar parties, saw celebs, like went up to Ben Affleck and was like, hey, what's going on? Can I take a picture and like slyly pull out my medal? And he's like, what is that? And you're just like nonchalant about it. Definitely has some wear and tear to it because I mean, you gotta, you gotta celebrate with it. So it has a couple scratches. It's been in more mouths than I can tell you. You know, the average like bite with it, like and all that and I haven't, cleaned it or anything, so I'm just living with it. My life is seriously like a dream come true, but in the real life scenario, like, you gotta step back and come to the realization of everything that happened. Like, yes, yeah, celebrate it. Like, of course, I partied my ass off the last six months, like, after the Olympics, because it's like, yeah, you're supposed to. I put in 20 hard years of <laughs> of like hard work, dedication, coming back from injury, like yeah, you're supposed to do that, but then it's like I'm gonna figure out what I wanna actually do with my life because skiing's not gonna last forever and I gotta kinda figure it out, but till then it's still like hang with my friends and like go party and be, be 21, you know? Be a little reckless. That was fun. You can't. Now that like I popped the cherry a little bit, you're like, I want more. <laughs> Were you just worried you were going to hurt the car? Uh, yeah. <laughs>